Hi to everyone. Welcome to today's video session. I Dr. E. Sri Devi. Today I am going to discuss a concept called as algorithms. The aim of this session is to familiarize students with the design of modularized solutions using algorithmic construct to solve a computational problems. Instructional objectives. This session is designed to understand the concept of problem solving through algorithms, demonstrate how to write algorithms, explain the properties of algorithms, learning outcomes. At the end of this session, the student will be able to design an algorithm solution for various types of problems, define the steps used to write an algorithm. Introduction. Set of instructions what we follow in order to solve a problem is called as an, an algorithm. In general, whenever we come across a problem, we follow some procedure to solve that problem. The step by step procedure what we follow to solve a problem is called as an algorithm. Each algorithm will be having basically three steps giving some input, doing some process and then getting some output. Not only in computer, in general life also we use algorithms to do any work. Example, if you see back side of a noodle packet, you can see the step based procedure which says how to cook noodles, that is nothing but an algorithm. Let us see withdrawing amount from an ATM. To do this task, we follow some steps like uh, we go to the ATM, insert your card into the machine, press in your, your code, choose withdraw to enter the amount required, take the cash, slip and card. So these are the steps uh, we follow in order to withdraw amount from an ATM machine. The steps what we are following in order to withdraw amount from an ATM machine is called as an algorithm. The algorithm whatever we are going to write it should have some properties like it should take some input. The algorithm should be given 0 or more inputs. It should produce some output at least one quantity is produced for each input value definiteness. Each instruction is clear and unambiguous finiteness. If we trace out the instructions of an algorithm then for all cases the algorithm terminates after a finite number of steps. Effectiveness. Every instructions must vary very basic so that it can be carried out in principle by person using only pencil and paper. Types of algorithm constructs. Basically, we have three types of algorithm constructs sequence, selection, and iteration. In sequence, the algorithm steps are performed in a sequential order. In selection, the steps are performed based on some condition and in iteration, the steps are executed repeatedly until the given condition is a false. The sequence algorithm workflow. The steps what we write in sequence algorithm workflow are accepting some input, defining some process and displaying the output. Example, we will write an algorithm to calculate area of a circle which comes under into sequence algorithm constructor. The input uh, what we are going to take for this problem is radius of a circle and we do some calculation in the part of a process. We use some formula in order to calculate the area of a circle and output we display the calculated area. As what we discussed previously that each algorithm will be having basically three steps taking input, doing some process and producing the output. Now the algorithm to calculate area of a circle is step 1 start up. Every algorithm will be having the first step as a start up and step 2 input radius means whatever the input we require will take that input. Step 3 we calculate the area by using a formula. Step 4 we print the area. Step 5 stop. Up. So each algorithm starts with the start step and ends with the stop step. So these are the steps what we are going to follow in order to calculate area of a circle and this step wise procedure is called as an algorithm. 
The next one is selection or decision making. The second type of algorithm construct is selection or decision making. In selection or decision making, the statements are executed based on some condition. Applica this is applicable when a problem has more than one outcome. The outcome is based on the inputs. For example, we want to calculate uh, greatest among the two numbers or we want to check even num given number is even or odd. These type of problems can be solved by using selection or decision making. We will see an example on this, a general example. For example, I want to wash a cloth which is dirty. The cloth can be a cotton type, the cloth can be a woolen type and the cloth can be a jeans type. So, here based on the cloth type, I am going to select the wash type. Means if the cloth is of cotton type, we go with the gentle wash. If the cloth is woolen type, we go with the medium wash. And if the cloth is a jeans type, we go with the tougher wash. So, here what type of wash we want to select is based on the, the cloth type. So, this is a general example for selection or decision making. Now, we will do another example on the selection. We want to calculate the greatest among two numbers or we want to print the greatest among two numbers. The input is two integers a and b. The process we compare the two values a and b and we display the greatest number as a output. Now, algorithm steps for this example is uh, step 1 start, step 2 input a and b, step 3 if a is greater than b then print a is greatest, else uh, print b is greatest. So, here the statements among the two statements 3.1 and 3.2 which to be executed is based on the selection or decision and uh, we did that by using two keywords called as a if and else. If condition is true, the statement 3.1 will be executed. If the condition is false, the statement 3.2 will be executed. Now, after executing, after coming out of this step 3, it will go to step 4 where we are stopping our algorithm. Now, the next, the last type of algorithm is iteration. In iteration, the statements are executed repeatedly until, until the condition is true. This is applicable when a problem has to do some work repeatedly. S example, printing natural numbers from 1 to n. Now, I will write the algorithm to print natural numbers from 1 to n. The step 1 start, step 2 a equals to 1, step 3 until a less than equals to 10 do printing a value and incrementing the a value by 1. So, here the two statements printing a value and incrementing the a value by 1 will be done until a is less than equals to 10. So, this logic is called as a iterative algorithm. The statements are executed repeatedly until the given condition is uh, true. Once the condition is false, it will come out of that logic and it will go to the step 4 called as a stop. So, whatever the procedure we are writing, a step by step procedure in order to solve a problem is called as an algorithm. So, in general, we, we apply algorithms for every task, whatever we, in, in, we do in our daily life the same thing we do in our uh, problem solving approach also. So, we discussed uh, till now the three types of algorithms, sequence, selection and iterative. So, based on your problem, we go with the particular logic. If your problem is a simple one, which requires only some uh, formulas, then we can go with the sequence. If your problem requires some decision making, then we go with the selection or if your problem requires iterative logic, then we go with iterative algorithms. So, these are some self-assessment questions which you can go and these are some references for further learning of this session. Some books uh, introduction to algorithm which you can refer in order to get more knowledge on the algorithms. Thank you.